Man, it's a nice day. Look at this. Look at how nice this day is. Ah, November 1st and it's beautiful. We are going to kind of show you that I leveled this trailer. I mean, basically, this trailer is a 28 foot trailer, eight foot wide, uh, that we got from Midsota Manufacturing, Midsota Trailers out of Avon. We really like those guys, they do a good job. On this trailer, they added a, a little feature that we thought would be kind of cool, and this is a crank jack instead of a scissor jack, uh, like a lot of trailers have scissor jacks. We wanted to have a little bit more stable. I hear that they can be kind of flimsy and, and not work that well, so we, uh, we decided to upgrade that a little bit and make it a little bit nicer and solid for our, our clients. Um, and this is gonna be a good system. This is gonna keep uh, this tiny house level and, and straight for, for a lot of years to come. So, as I back this thing in here, I noticed that, well, I knew this already. It's not like this is a big uh, revelation because I had to do it on the last one too, but you guys weren't here for the last one. So, I have a floor drain in the floor on this, in this shop. Here's our shop. So, I have a floor drain in the floor, and as I leveled this guy out, my, tire, my tires came off the ground, and I don't want that. So, as I lifted this up, I kind of pre-leveled it. I pre-leveled everything and, and to see where everything would sit, and I found out that I needed about an inch worth of a board underneath there. So, I went and put that under there, and then I dropped everything back down, so then I could level it back up again. It sounds kind of redundant, but... That's the best way to do it because as you go here, this is such a long trailer, look at it, 28 feet from there to there. And if I were to have this level on the back and level in the front, and these tires were off the ground, then I would probably uh, end up with a sag in the center and that's not what we want. We want it to be nice and straight across there. Not only level, but straight. You know, It needs to be one continuous straight line. So that's that, basically. So I got the boards in there, and then now we have it leveled from side to side and front to back. So both ways, it's really good. And it's pretty simple, but it's kind of tedious all at the same time. It, if you have two people, I would suggest doing it with two people because it takes a little bit. You gotta walk around a couple of times. First, when I back this in here, I find out where my high spot is, okay? And my high spot uh, in this floor is back in that corner. So back in that corner, that's where the high spot is. That's gonna be the highest spot of my trailer. I can't get that really any lower. And then I level it front to back. So then I just kind of see that these rails front to back because my shop floor kind of sits a little bit it, more level front to back than it would be side to side. And then as I did that, that's when I found out that these tires needed to be kind of uh, supported underneath there a little bit. And uh, I did that really quick. And then I went back around and really slowly just leveled everything kept going around, kept going around, bringing it up to where that corner is. And you'll notice the more often you, well, maybe you're only gonna really level in one trailer, but it, it really affects, each of these corners really affect the whole trailer. And it's not just as simple as, you know, twisting it like this. Um, as you go through and lift this corner, it's actually gonna have an effect on that front corner. So each of these corners, and, and side to side, so you really have to just slow down and do it uh, really slowly and pay attention and uh, just don't get, don't get mad because you'll probably get frustrated at some point trying to level this thing out. But um, start at your highest point, make sure that's secure and then kind of just slowly raise everything else up to, to that level. And level on the top, I leveled on the top rail, I leveled underneath too. So as they build these trailers, they actually build them upside down. Um, in a jig, so it's upside down in a jig and that's how they square everything and put it all together. So um, I kind of level it at a couple of different spots just to make sure that it is good all the way around. Because this is really the foundation. This is the foundation of a tiny house and it's, it's basically the same as a foundation of any kind of house. Uh, so starting from here, this is the most important. As you build up, if things aren't level, things won't be square and then you're gonna have a crooked house. And I mean, maybe you wanna live in a Dr. Seuss house, but eh, you know. Uh, I don't know. Well, unless you design it that way, that'd be pretty cool. I would totally like to make that. So there it is. I'm done rambling about this thing that's, uh, that's already square and level. And if you have any questions about this, email me. Uh, let me know. I'll definitely help you out. If you're like, hey, I can't get this figured out, then maybe, uh, maybe your trailer's not square in the first place, and maybe you need to, to figure that out a little bit more. Um, but this guy came in level really nice. It's level. It's perfect. And I think that's it. I am, uh, I'm pretty well done. Here's uh, the 24-foot juniper. 
We're going to bring that to a show on November 12th. That's a Saturday in Blaine. So that's pretty cool. We're going to have that guy there. And uh, I'm out. That's it. Ryan, Midwest Tiny Living. Make sure to uh, subscribe to these. If you're building a tiny house, if you want to build a tiny house, if you just want to learn more of how they go together, subscribe to my channel and like this stuff. It really helps me out. And uh, that's, that's it. Enjoy this day, November 1st. It's beautiful.